Right, so here's what we're doing today. We have a car right here, as you can see. Plus, we've got some chains and locks. So we've received a bunch of curious photos, like this one. People have either been using or perhaps testing a kind of makeshift security system. This was kind of the point of those kettlebells from one of our previous videos. Anyway, today we'll be taking a crack at this method. We've parked our car right next to this nice lamp post. I'm guessing it won't be making it out alive today. I say we get started. Let's do this. I suggest we start with something simple. Something that won't destroy the car right away. We'll secure the chain to the door handle, just like on those photos. Then we slowly get the car rolling and see what happens. Do the doors on this thing even lock? Well, I'll be damned. The lock actually works. Right, so we secure the chain to the front door handle and get the car moving. And have a look at where this goes. Will a car drive if you chain the tires? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. All right, we are ready to go. Let me just lock the door so that it doesn't open on the go. And now we go for a drive. Right, that's reverse. Okay, here we go, there's first gear. Whoops. Looks like I've gotten away. This isn't a great anti-theft system, guys. It doesn't really seem to work. Okay, so we've established that securing a chain to the door handle is a no-no. There are better ways to do this. I suggest we try something a little different. There's a huge gap here for some strange reason. All we have to do is pull it out some more and... Uh, and wrap the chain around the door frame. Watch the fingers. That's how you do it. Now this should work beautifully. Right, time to go for a drive. Whoops! God damn! Holy shit! Are you seeing this? So the door frame won't stop your car from being stolen either. Only if your goal is to damage it. Now we move on to the next level. We've connected the two rear wheels using a chain. You can probably see the outcome already. Right, let's go. It really struggles to move around, doesn't it? And that wonderful smell of tires cooking. Sweet. Now we give this a try. Now we'll do two wheels on one side. The chain should tighten up and stop the wheels from rotating. You get the picture, right? One wheel is going forward, as is the other one. They should create some serious tension, stopping the car in its tracks. There is a small chance that when the chain gets to over here, it'll just lodge itself into the brake caliper. There's only one way to find out, though. Let's do this. Right, now we try it out. Great, we have some tension happening. Hello. Come on, come on. Holy shit! It just pulls the wheels from your grip. Good lord. 
You can't even hold onto the wheel. So much fun. Right, guys, here's what we're looking at. This seems to be the best option so far. You literally can't drive the car at all. The steering wheel just snaps out from your hands right away. It doesn't even matter which side you install the chain. Anyway, the point is that the car ain't going anywhere. Since you can neither steer nor accelerate. Awesome, the chain is as tense as a guitar string. And everything went brilliantly. Chain didn't interfere with the brake caliper. There's plenty of space in there. You've got loads of tension, and the car digs its heels right into the ground. We actually saw a few pictures where the steering wheel would be locked in chains. I say we tether the steering wheel and try driving away. Let's do this! Okay, so we've secured the steering wheel, everything's looking good. Nobody was brave enough though to get in behind the wheel. I mean, no one wants to get their teeth knocked out, be that by the steering wheel or the chain itself. We forgot to bring a helmet, so... In short, what a bunch of pussies. As for me, well, I'm just too old for this shit. Anyway, we're ready to go. We'll be using our van to slowly pull the car away and just see what happens. Let's do this. That was fast. Anyway, guys, so the steering wheel decided to run for it. In any case, the point is not just to protect your car from being stolen. That one's easy, you can just chain two wheels together, either on one side or the rear wheels, maybe even the ones up front. Here's what we're actually looking at here. People attach chains to door frames and steering wheels and the like, just as a precaution, so the tow trucks don't remove their cars when they park in a spot where parking is not allowed. How about you ask your local tow truck drivers if this method works or not? As for our city, I've never seen anybody tie their car by the mirror, the door handle or the door frame and attach it to a fence or a lamppost so that the tow trucks leave it alone. Anyway, you tell us in the comments how this works in your town. Right, fellas, this has been a massively successful experiment. To be honest, I highly doubt that somebody would want to damage your car. However, I wouldn't recommend you trying this. Anyway, guys, leave some comments and suggestions, share your thoughts, hit that like button, subscribe, and see you later.